Welcome to the land, boy. Today we got my guy Alexander Usyk. Um, I don't know how to pronounce where he's from. I just say the Ukraine, but we got him in his fight with Fury and his um his gear from the Fury fight. Of so I can get to it. I think I did decent though. I realized in editing that I messed up Shakur Stevenson a little bit. He's a southpaw, not an orthodox fighter. I got that switched out for y'all. But um, yeah, bro, I've been I've been working on these fighters. And this is the latest one. Tyson Fury on the way. I already, you already know how that is, bro. We already know how that is. But here we go right here. It's the gear right here. Formula tattoos. I wanted to make bald usage, but nah, we gonna give him this cut right here and roll with that. Got him with the hyper textbook power shots. This is formula. You can pause if you want to use it and replicate replicate that. Then we got this going on. He's not really that strong of a fight. He's just a great boxer. So I got him. I got him with this this um, formula right here. It took a while to make. He got power. He got speed. And this is this is how he looks. He, he he gets rattled. He gets rocked. He's pretty tough, but he gets rocked. His reflexes will help with his hand movement. And yeah, man, let's go roll him out. Let's go get him out of here. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Let's go. So we are underway here. Round one, scheduled for 12. The master Ver. He a low, he a low tier Got fighter. Got a veteran here who's known for having a huge hook. Hey, explain to the layman out there that old axiom: don't hook Let's with go. a hooker. Well, that means that that punches his bread Let's and go. butter. Work, Jeff. And it means that obviously he's gotten it to a point, to a level of confidence where it's probably a little shorter than yours, a little oh, quicker yeah. than yours. So Alexander ain't got much reach. He is coming up from cruiser. He is a smaller heavyweight, but he got the style to do it. And he's been doing it well. Now he places that hook right to the body. He clearly came in with a strategy here movement. tonight, Teddy. And so many times, it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is Let's banging go. that drum. That drum happens to be the body. And he figures that he's going to try to scratching my head. He, so he could have he teed off on me if he on, wanted to. And later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. Okay, he, he kind of elusive right now. He kind of elusive right now. All right, I'm gonna slow him down. I'm gonna slow him down. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Oh wow, my hand got stuck. My fault, y'all. That was a bad. The final moments of this round. I'm going to land that straight. I'm going to get outside that foot. Land that straight down the pipe. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't oh, land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice I'm going to get Bermain out of here. I should, I should well, not go to the cards with Bermain. It's the psychological Stewart. part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit, and you know what? He's moving it. There we go. Big, big <laughs> shit. He's down, but it was not a yeah, that was well placed. That was well placed. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good yeah, we're gonna be have good. good. We're gonna be good. Been put there. You're gonna find out right now. He needs them right now. There's a nice left hand able to get in. A 
little head hunting with the right. Oh, no. Wow! God damn! He goes down again. Will he get up from this? I was hooking off something heavy though. I was, I was, I was, I was holding power shots the whole time. Somehow, some way, he's, he's gonna continue up. on here. And if he's gonna stay in this fight, now he's gonna avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Come on, bro. That was a nice hook that landed that time by the Cobra. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Almost, almost cleaned them out. Scored well up top. That was a bad shot by me. I'm power shotting the hell out of her right now. Good looking uppercut that time. Oh shit! Almost. Final ten seconds in round number two. Almost. Bro, I'm trying to throw the right hook. Big End finger ass. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be okay, an easy Okay, he want to get a little shifty. you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You are going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. Well, earlier you saw what happened to him. He was stunned. He got tagged in this fight. He got hit hard. Now you're seeing the kind Straight of down mentality the that's going to try to avoid that happening again. But, Teddy, yeah. it's not necessarily the kind of mentality that's going to win you a fight. No, if you're okay, in the corner he landed, with him, you he know what landed, you tell him, tell him, Okay, he landed. Hold on. Now, I understand you've been hurt. I understand you're looking to survive right now. But you're being tested for the first time in your life. Do you want to be a champion? Do you want to be special? Special people find a way to get out of this and still offensively go forward. Yeah, he's got to answer those questions. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Okay, he getting in and out. So I got to follow him up. When he watch, he going to get in. Yeah, he's getting in and fading out. I'm going to have to answer that. Well, you can just oh, tell shit. that he's okay. unable to keep up this kind of pace early on. You can see that these punches aren't what they were. So that's part of the equation. Yes. You go out there and you can chuck oh, I thought he was going to come back opponent. here. But your opponent, he can handle it. Yeah, I'm also he wants nasty. It, he can deflect it, and then he starts coming back with his own. And then what happens? You get tired? You start giving up? Oh, he called me! Hello, he called me! Hello! And there's a glitch after... Got him he caught me with another straight. The right I'm trying to run. I'm trying to get out of there. I'm trying to get out of there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but man. He caught me with a nasty one. Caught his ass back. Oh, shit. He won that round. He got that. He got that. I'll give it to him. Come on. I missed a lot of punches that round. The Cobra is off to a really good start. Nah, I didn't win that round. First time we look at Teddy's scorecard. There we go. Get him out of here. How is he gonna survive this once again? Get him out of here. He's gonna have to find a way. He's back down in the same spot. Dumb ass, dumb Ed boy. He's out of here. Yo, what the fuck? So now the question becomes: After that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Oh, my God. This dude's out of here. I don't think so here, Tim. Get him out of here. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. He keep getting up, though. He ain't going to get up five times. Fuck that. It's over. This fight is over. The Cobra's hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight.
That's a good one. Let me know how he looked. Let me know how he feel. Um, if you guys want these formulas, I will save you guys. Or you can pause it. You got to pick your own faces and stuff. But I will, I will more, add more detail to the video. Like, click through every selection and then show them off. But, yeah, I got you, man. Just let me know what's up. But, hey, hey, hit the sub. I see you coming in here and not subbing. Leave feedback. I should have lost that third round. But that's and that's decent. what his that's trainer decent. wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. I'm Joe Tessitore for I, Teddy I Atlas missed so many punches that round, us, bro. And enjoy the rest of your night. I don't know how I won that round. The judges on my side, I don't know my pocket.